In March 2022, our wee forest has begun. The testing of the soil's been done, with help from P67 and P56 to check out what was below the ground and give the green light for our forest to be planted. The ground's been dug up now, following P7 Connor's design. The blue line is the perimeter, the orange line is the path through the wood. So what will our forest look like? Our field ground's hard, covered in a thick grass mat which stops other plants growing. So the soil's been dug up and mixed with food to allow the tree sapling roots to grow deep and strong. Some trees will grow quicker than others. The wood will look quite small to start with, but soon birds like this short-eared owl might start visiting. That picture was taken at Dawnmouth in 2016 and here's the same wood last year. See how the trees have grown? This wood has many pines and conifers and we'll have some of them, like these Scots pine. But the school's planting 600 trees of many different varieties. So what's going to grow there? Here's the biggest, the oak, starting off as an acorn and growing to become this ginormous tree. How long do you reckon that'll take? All the trees will start as small saplings like this oak. But which ones will grow the quickest? Will it be the trees with catkin flowers, like this birch? Or the alder? Or the hazel? Many trees attract wildlife with their flower blossoms in spring and berries in autumn, like this cherry. And here's the rowan, with its white pollen-filled flowers, and in autumn it's covered in berries, and birds like this red wing love it. Here's the hawthorn, with its flowers known as May Blossom. And it's studded with berries in autumn. Here's some of our smaller trees like elder, whose flowers and fruit make delicious drinks. Dog rose, which has tasty rose hips full of vitamin C, and blackthorn and holly. Soon you'll see birds like this blue tit pecking away at the twigs. For when you have trees, Insects come and lay their eggs, and they'll become food for the wee birds. Other shrubs, like juniper, gorse and broom, provide cover, homes and food for many creatures. And our smallest plants are blaeberry and heather. All of our trees and plants are insect attractors and seed catchers, so soon our forest will be covered in other flowers and plants which will welcome so many other things. Our forest will soon be alive with birdsong, buzzing, scampering, and colour. <laughs>